And welcome back, guys, to the next episode of my FIFA 20 AC Milan career mode. Today we started off in the transfer window with a little transfer business as we go after our main target su suggested by you guys, Sandro Tonali from Brescia, from the Serie A. Uh, it's going to take a good chunk of change to get him. So we're going to offer 74. And they want 79.6. And a 23% transfer uh, sell-on clause to go along with it. Uh, so we're going to do a little bit of negotiation and try to get the best deal we can. But I want to make sure we get the 20-year-old CDM. We can also play CM for us. Uh, and that'll still leave us with around a little under 50 million to spend so we can probably go out and get two more guys uh, that you have suggested uh, there was about 10 guys that was the majority of the suggestions so there we go we agree to get to Nali and now we just have to sign him up and bring him to the squad and we're gonna go all out and basically give him what he wants to make sure he comes here uh, he's gonna be important five-year contract deal no release clause and we're gonna bump him up from his current wage of only twelve and a half thousand a week and we're gonna go ahead and make sure we get him and make sure he doesn't storm out and we're gonna go ahead and offer fifty five thousand a week and a two hundred thousand dollar bonus and see if that's good enough to get it done Fingers crossed, fair offer, client is happy, deal is done. Sandro Tonali is on the AC Milan squad now. Let's add him in, 81 overall. Beautiful stats all around. Benacer come on for Sajout, uh, the superstar striker uh, who's going off in the Champions League for us. So that's what our squad looks like so far. But our work is not done yet. Next up on our to-do list is Jeremy Duku from Andelect. Can play on the right side and the left side. Another guy that uh, you've suggested to me uh, in the comments below. So they want $35 million for him. So that's what we'll start with. We'll, we'll see if we can get him for that. And that's a fair offer. So there we go. We have our uh, winger to replace Zaha, 75 overall. He's only 18 years old. So we got Tonali, he's 20. Uh, Doku is uh, 18. So we got a, a pretty solid squad coming up, uh, depending on how long we play this out. Uh, the next FIFA doesn't come out until, what is it, October? So let's see, July, August, September. So about three and a half months or so, uh, we'll still be, be doing uh, FIFA career modes as long as you guys want to keep watching them. Uh, we'll stay at AC Milan for a while and maybe even till FIFA 21 comes out if you guys uh, want to see that play out for that long. If not, we'll play it up to a certain point and then we will, um, you know, I'll let you guys pick my next career mode team. So we had Donnarumma back to the lineup after uh, his injury. Uh, we bring Silva, and there we go. So, Chalanolu, Paulinho, Marcial up top, Paqueta, Kessier, Tonali in the middle. And then the next one is Marco Cana. Another one suggested by uh, one of you guys out there. I appreciate that. They want 25 and a half for him. I only have 11 and a half. So we're going to try to figure out some kind of uh, deal here. We'll see if they want Silva. Uh, winger, fullback, or midfielder. So let's see if we can offer up Chalanolu. He's worth 30 million, says Connor. Yeah. This won't be the best of deals financially. But uh, I want to bring in Connor, 18 year old, another youngster, center back. Uh, he need, he'll be on the bench for most of this year and play uh, like cup matches maybe. Uh, but we should be able to, to upgrade him quickly. And then we'll be all right. So let's see if we can get this done. We'll add $9 million to the deal. 
and they want a 6% transfer fee. I'm kind of all right given the, the transfer fees because uh, by the time we would sell them, uh, you know, it's usually a non-issue having a, to deal with a transfer fee. So let's see if we can get him signed up. He's only making 3,700 a week. We have 87,000 in the wage budget, so we should be good. Still two and a half million in transfer budget. Uh, we'll, you know, obviously that'll be, this will be the end of our transfer business uh, for this window. And we'll see about the summertime. And let's add him to our, let's see, add Doku. And then we'll add Kana to the bench. And there we go. We are slowly upgrading this team. Uh, we got speed on the outside, Marcial in front, Leia coming off the bench as a super striker. We're gonna move Silva, and we should probably get 25 to 30 million for Silva. So uh, we should be able to add somebody by then. So, like I said before, our Juventus match did not record properly. We, it was a draw 2-2. So we move on to the next match and take on Atalanta at the Stadio Classico with Derek Ray and Lee Dixon, your favorite commentary. And here we go early on. Can we make something come from this? To Paqueta. Oh, he gets past everybody in the box. He shoots. Oh. To take that Wide so well, the first chance of a game is important, but the first usually goal, he's one to get those in. So 11 minutes in, Atalanta on the attack Gomez. here now. Gomez, oh nice pass. Ilicic, it's in the box, pass to Lukaku, shoots the Zapata, and save by Donnarumma. We usually give up those kind of near post shots. Corner comes in. And easily grabbed by Donnarumma. And it remains nil-nil. Here we are, 21 minutes in. And Atalanta in possession. Gross to Gossens. And, oh... That's a booking. That's a booking. Give him the card. Give him the red card. Let's see it. Oh, there it is. Send him off. Get him out of here. Atalanta go down to 10 men. A reckless challenge. And here we go. So 68 minutes in. It's still a grind. Nil-nil. Tonali with the big tackle. Nice pass out to Kessier. Gets past midfield, Paqueta, oh, beautiful ball to Doku. He gets in the box, right foot shoots and scores. Goal! And there we go, 70 minutes in. Milan take the one nil lead. That's what we needed here. We need one more, one more goal to put this one away. It's too much time left. Ah, oh, should have went uh, near post. But he was able to bang it through. First goal. First game for us. And Atalanta here. Five minutes to go. Oh, no. This could be trouble. Shot is blocked. Romagnoli gets it out to Kessier. And we survived the attack for the moment. And there's your final whistle. Milan 1. Atalanta 0. Three points and a clean sheet for AC Milan today. Luis Ricci is happy. And we go back to Milan. Lucas Paqueta is your player of the match of 9.0 rating. Atalanta did not do much of anything offensively. But they held us to one goal. But it was enough today. So here is Ricci after the match. Why didn't Connor make his uh, debut? Good things come to those who wait. Tonali is continuing his hot run of form. He's a fantastic player, and Milan is unbeaten so far, which we aren't. So, <laughs> we end that press conference here. Bosa Mensa was disappointed not to play. Can't play every match, bro. Just got to deal with it. Knock out our player training here. 
Tonali with the D. Uh, we need better training from him, for sure. So, round of 16, Coppa Italia is up next. Uh, we get an offer from Silva. Offer for Silva from Arsenal for 24 and a half million. We're going to try to get... We're going to come back with 35 and then negotiate somewhere in the middle. Hopefully around the 30 million mark. Or they may just storm out and we never hear back from them again. Yep. <laughs> and that's what happens. Uh, they storm out and Silva remains on Milan. We are at the San Siro Stadium today. So, Delighted live from the San Siro, we play Citadella. I've not heard from them uh, of them, so I'm not sure what league exactly, what level they're in. Beautiful shot of the San Siro. Donnarumma is ready in goal. And let's get this one kicked off. As you can see here, we are experimenting with a new camera. Let me know if you like it or if you hate it. Uh, I like the view. It might be a little bit too zoomed out. It might zoom in on the next one. Uh, but I want the, the games to look uh, like you're really watching a match. So hopefully you guys just watching at home enjoy the view. Uh, Playing-wise, you might want to zoom in a little bit. Kessie gets in the box early. Can we make something happen here? Tim Fosumensa. Fosumensa cross. <laughs> that is a terrible cross. Yeah, that was a wasteful cross to say the least. So 21 minutes in, still nil-nil. Doku with the great tackle. Can he make something happen? Almost loses possession here. Sends the cross in. Headed by Kessier and off target. Just wide right. Yeah, he'll have to improve that heading for sure. So here's Kessier again. Great ball out to Paulinho. He uses here. speed to make some... Oh, bad pass. And we lose possession. Looking good when they attack. And now Citadella on it. Oh, nice, nice pass. He just couldn't get here. to it in time. Out to Pobega. Out to Paulinho. Kessier. Out to Kessier. To Leao. Nice pass out to Pobega. Gets in the box. Can we make something happen here? It's a pass. And cleared out right before halftime whistle. Got away with it. Yes, he did. Here comes the throw in. Can we do something right before this whistle? Fosumensa. Fosumensa. Kessier. Shoots. Blocked. Martial rebound. Shoots. And saved. I thought we had that one for a second. Left foot. That's Leal, not Martial. And the corner comes in for Paulinho. Here comes the corner. Hit it. And a nice diving save by the keeper. And they shoot off target. And we're going to extra time against Citadella. How disappointing is that? So here we are, 96, 97 minutes in. Zinchenko out wide. Sends the cross in and cleared out. That was a nice cross from Zinchenko. Corner from Paulinho. Sends it in. Header. Goal. Marco Kana with his debut goal. Debut match. Comes up big for us here in extra time. Doku scored in his uh, debut, and now Kana scores in his. Well, I suspect this may have been a set piece routine worked on the training ground. Well, Comes in, here, gets above everybody, and drills it into the back now. of the net. He's a good, uh, you know, a foot above everybody else. Still trying to find an escape route and here. can we hold on shoots easy work, save from Donnarumma and this should be just about it there's the final whistle we move on to the next round of the Copa Italia we, we shouldn't be scraping by Citadella in, this cup today. <laughs> in a 1-0 extra time victory but ultimately a win is a win and we move on Player of the match, Paulinho, 8.8 .8 rating. 
Citadella with their di narrow diamond formation, eight shots to three. Atalanta, Inter, and Juventus all win. We'll see who we play uh, in the round of eight. Post-match press conference with Ricci. Kana has put his name on the scoreboard. Amazing debut. What more could you ask for? He's very happy now. Uh, do you feel you could win the whole thing? Of course. Of course we can. And we were a bit lucky. Sometimes you gotta be lucky uh, to win. So, Donnarumma is happy uh, that I listened to him and I put him back in goal. Of course, he's our starter forever. He's only not gonna play when he's, you know, when he's injured. So Lukaku's out for eight weeks, which is good news for us. Martial rises to the occasion and the UEFA team of the year 2020 has been announced. Messi, Martinez, uh, Erickson, De Bruyne, Cruz, Cruz, Casemiro, uh, Carvajal, uh, Longley, Marcello, Edison, the usual suspects. Paulinho is delighted with Milan opportunities and we currently sit in fourth place with 42 points. Spall is up next. That's going to be a sim match as I believe they are currently dead last in the Serie A, if I'm not mistaken. Lazio sit up top. Let's see. Oh, second to last. So, we could, uh, everybody's close. Nobody's running away with the, uh, the league title just yet. So Paulinho starts it off. Doku gets his second goal for us to make it 2-0. Martial makes it 3-0, 61 minutes in. And Leal gets the fourth goal, 89 minutes in, as we take a 4-0 victory. And let's see. Antonio Donnarumma. And Gabby, uh, uh, Byron want to loan him, and we don't pretty much do any loans whatsoever. So up next is Roma. That'll be next episode. Roma, Napoli. And uh, Parma, was it? Or uh, Veronis? Let's attend this press conference before the Roma tie. Uh, will you win this time? Uh, we will do our best. <laughs> Put the game beyond doubts last time. Uh, my last performed admirably. And, of course, please hit that like button to support the channel. Please comment with any suggestions you have for the next transfer window. Tell me if you like that camera angle. Subscribe if you haven't, and until next episode, you guys take care.